another fucking solid tube out of mech. Fuck me. <laughs> out of mech. Nobody likes a bogan. Nobody likes. Nobody likes. Nobody likes a bogan. G'day, bloody dickheads, vaping fucking bogan. Back once again for another Ridgy Didge review. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all doing tip top. Gonna have a look at another Russian mech mod today, dickheads. The Laskar from Vulcan Mods. 21700 mechanical tube mod, very nice. Got the Turk V2 RDA on here with the uh, custom powder coat from Palmer's Powders. Fucking shout out to you, Ashton. Drip tip, if you're wondering, is from Australian Custom Drip Tips. And uh, yeah, Russia's been putting out some pretty nice fucking mechanical mods lately. And uh, this one here, Again, very fucking decent. Got a couple of uh, aliens in here from, yeah, MTurk. <laughs> Point one one, I think is what they are. Let's go. Need to top up that juice, I reckon. From Russia with love, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Some really great performance off this one, but we're going to talk all the ins and outs, bits and bobs in a fucking moment. Let's talk a little vape advocacy as always. What do I talk about? Where do I fucking start at the moment? We've got so many fucking battles and problems, whether it be the kids dueling in schools, this whole THC bootleg pod epidemic thing that's causing all these health issues and is now being blamed on vaping, or it's the fucking, you know, marketing to kids and advertising to children. There are so many fucking problems that we have. And what are we doing? We're fucking arguing with each other still. Fucking drop the bullshit and focus on the real problem, and that is these battles, these over-regulations, this propaganda that's being spread around. Stop sharing the fucking fake news. Stop sharing those articles that are full of shit and start sharing the positive ones, the factual ones. Don't worry about whether you like a product or not or whether this type of vaping is your type of vaping. Fuck that. We're all vapors. We're all here to quit smoking. We're all here for a safer, healthier alternative. And right now, we really need to band together and stop fucking fighting each other. Fucking get your shit together. Pull up your socks and let's fight this thing together. All right, let's have a beer. Today we've got an Aussie beer from the Grifter Brewing Co. The Omen. It's an oatmeal stout. 5.5 fucking percent. Brewed over in Marrickville, New South Wales. I'm not sure how accessible this will be for my international viewers. The Omen Oatmeal Stout. A rich, smooth, dark ale with layers of coffee, chocolate, and roasted malt complexity. There you go. Well, that's about all she fucking says. Let's see how she tastes. There you go, dickhead. It's a perfect fucking pour of that black gold. Looks like a healthy fucking head there. Oh yeah, you can smell the fucking coffee and biscuits, dickheads. Coffee, biscuits, and a bit of chocolate. Cheers. Oh yeah, that is rich coffee and chocolate flavors. Really, really smooth, not a whole lot of bitterness there. Just getting a nice lingering chocolate flavor on the end. Bit of coffee in the middle. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's a really nice balance between the sort of coffee and the chocolate. Neither is overpowering each other. Smooth, creamy, bready, biscuity flavors. Fuck, I'll have one of those in the morning. Tell you what, let's pair it up with a juice. Mm. Gonna pair it with a bit of my own Bogan Brews today, dickheads. The Ducks Nuts. You can't know I love this one. It is a cherry jam donut. Just a nice little subtle bit of cherry there. Not overpowering, not cough syrupy. And uh, I reckon the fucking best donut base I've ever had. This one usually goes really nicely with the dark beer stouts and, uh, you know, brown ales, porters, that kind of thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, once again. The donut base in this liquid just goes so fucking nicely with anything dark and bready and, you know, chocolatey and coffee flavored. The chocolate and coffee over the fucking donut base is so good. Yeah, fuck, I could drink that all afternoon. Anyway, dickheads, enough fucking chitter chattering. Let's get down in the up and bloody close. We'll have a sticky beak. This here Mac mod will show you the ins and outs. This is their first Vulcan mod I think they've done with a constant contact switch. Let's get in there and have no first 21700. Or it might be the first constant contact. Either way, let's go in there and have a fucking squeeze. 
Okie fucking dokie dickheads, so this is the packaging, your last car will come in, it's a nice little wooden box, it's got a little flippy thing, I managed to uh, to break mine getting it out of the packaging or it got broken in transport, can't work that out, but either way, that's the packaging, let's see what you see and get inside. One last car mod comes in the black red finish you see here, a blue, a Tiffany blue and a white and a straight black. You get an 18650 battery adapter, an 18650 contact for the switch and a couple of Clapton coils, an authenticity certificate, which will have your serial number up there and uh, a few safety warnings. And you'll get a little Vulcan Mods pouch to keep it in. Well, let's get into it. So here she is, got the red and the black, which looks really nice, got a bit of a speckled action going through it. I think all the different colors all have the same black fading into uh, another color and then fading into black. So you've got the teal and the blue, etc. But uh, yeah, it looks really fucking nice. So it's 29 millimeters at its widest point. It then tapers in to 24 millimeters up the top there, where your RDA will sort of uh, meet the lip there is 24. So 25s, they look good on here. Uh, you know, 26s, okay. But once you start getting a little bigger, it doesn't look so good because it's got a very sort of angled taper here. Unlike some other mods, it's a very sort of angular and it starts to look a little bit kind of crap, but that's all right. You got a uh, hybrid connection up the top there. I've got the serial number of number nine. You got Lascar engraved there. Remember dickheads, with any hybrid mechanical mods, make sure that the pin on your atomizer is safe for use with hybrids. And what I mean by that is you need to have the pin. You see that copper pin sticking out from the stainless steel threading? That means it's hybrid safe. If that pin is not protruding from the threads, don't ever use it on a hybrid mech mod and never ever use a sub tank on a hybrid mech mod. So 29 millimeters and then it's got a few contours coming in here, spreading back out again and then contouring in again and then down to the bottom she flares out again. You've got a, a break in the middle here, so this is how you get to your battery. You just uh, unscrew it, really, really nice threading. All of the tube is really nicely machined very very smooth and yeah the threads just screw together really really smoothly no crunching or anything like that moving our way down you can hear that button sliding around in there that's the way that works i can't show you that until we sort of get a battery in there but um there's a quick look at the button got their little uh, vulcan logo on there and a bit of venting but really, let's just uh, crack it open and show you that uh, that switch. So, we slide it out. Seen this before in a few mods, just sort of slides on out. There's no threading or anything required for the button. And it's a very, very simple design. I really like what they've done here. So it's a constant contact. Your, uh, your battery is gonna make contact with your uh, point there, and then Underneath that, if we get this little fucker out of here, you'll see there's the second contact. So basically, this one here, as you push down on the switch, that brings up this little pin here, and he's making contact with the bottom of that pin there. So very, very simple design. Just the one big spring is gonna take up any battery slack that you have, as well as serve for the spring for the switch. So really, really nicely done, and it's super, super simple. You've got a brass base to it with the painting on the bottom there, and then you've got a big, chunky, I would say that's white Delrin uh, insulator there. So if we pop out that little contact, and then we want to take out the second contact, that comes out like so, and there you go. That's, that's about it. You've got the spring, You've got a big chunky brass base there, and then you have your brass pin contact there, and he just slides into there. The spring's not gonna carry any uh, current because it's sitting up against an insulator, and that just screws straight into there. So very, very simply done, I like this. There's literally one screw for your switch, um, and that's, that's it. Very, very nice. Um, super easy to understand, super easy to maintain. And uh, yeah, everything has been machined beautifully and that, that just slides in there. That's it. That is super, super simple. So we put a battery in. Uh, I've been going positive end down because the venting is in the bottom. Make sure you screw on your atomizer first. No battery rattle. Everything's nice and snug. Fires. Nice smooth switch. 
no complaints. Very fucking nicely done. So that's about it, dickheads. Pretty fucking simple little uh, design there with the switch. Nothing really, uh, you know, too extravagant to explain. Let's jump back up top. Let's talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. So there you go, dickheads. Bit of a squiz. The Lascar. What do you reckon? Very, very simple. Very, very clean mod. There's no real engravings on this one. And the switch, super, super easy and simple. Uh, very, very minimal. Like it. But let's talk the pros and bloody cons. What's good? What's not so fucking good? Well, performance is definitely a big, big pro with this one. It hits fucking hard cunts. It'll smack you about the chops like Conor McGregor. Really fucking nice performance. Very, very happy with it. 21700, all good stuff. The Switch, the Switch is fucking grouse. Really, really love the design on this one. I love to see a simple Switch. There's just one screw. Just one screw, a spring, an insulator, a button and a contact. That's it. So easy to take apart, super easy to maintain. You know, the spring's not carrying any uh, current, yet it's able to do both the button and the battery adjustment. I just, yeah, I love seeing simple, you know, switch designs like this that just work really fucking well. It's super smooth. <sighs> Haven't been getting misfires or crunchiness or anything like that. So big fan of the, uh, the switch, you know, and constant contact to boot. Um, I love the clean look of this one. You know, there's no engravings on it. You know, it's got some nice, it's, it's sort of, you know, it's got, I suppose, engravings, but they're not engravings, they're cuts. Um, you know, and it just has this very, very sleek, minimal design. I love that. I think it looks fucking beautiful. Comfortable to hold in the hand as well. It's got that nice little uh, sort of notch or, or nestle spot there to just tuck it in and have a toot. Love the paint jobs on these. I think the Cerakoting and the spray, you know, the way that they've uh, two-toned it looks fucking really, really nicely done. And uh, the way that it breaks in the middle, I like that. You know, you don't have to worry about your battery like falling out as you take the button off or anything like that. It just got a nice little cup there for it to, uh, to sit in. The build quality is a huge pro on this one. Made in Russia and uh, yeah, expertly fucking uh, done. Threads are all really, really smooth. The uh, machining on the tube, especially with that sliding button situation, really, really nice tolerances. So build quality, definitely a big, big pro, blah, 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 big pro for the Russians. <laughs> but cons, what do I not like about it? Not a fuck of a lot, to be honest. Uh, it's another mech mod that I have very, very little to complain about. If I'm gonna nitpick, the tapering around the top, it's it's quite steep. It's a steep sort of taper. So if you put something larger than 24 millimeters on here, you start to notice that overhang a little bit more. 25, 26, not so bad. Once you get to sort of 28, um, it becomes a lot more noticeable, you know, than some other sort of tapering. Another nitpicky con might be that it's only really available in plain black and speckled, splattered, colored colors. So you don't have a plain brass or a plain copper or a plain stainless steel or even like a plain red or anything like that. You've got black and then you've got colors with black and splatter. So, you know, if you're not into the splatter and you don't want a plain black mod, there's not a, a whole lot of other options there. So that might be a little bit of a con for those that, uh, you know, want something more sort of simple like, uh, you know, a, a plain straight brass. It's a reasonably tall Mac tube. Um, you know, it's not ridiculous. There's definitely some taller, you know, stuff out there, but there's definitely quite a few mods that are, uh, you know, noticeably shorter than this one. It's a, it's a bit of a hefty fucker, and it's got a fair bit of weight to it as well. Being brass, having quite a thick upper body to it, it's definitely got a bit of weight. Definitely fucking good, you know. Heavy is good, you know, if it's always, <laughs> you know, the fucking thing. Um, so yeah, look, Apart from that though, I don't really have a fucking lot to whinge about, you know. It's really, really well made, it hits really hard, I think it looks nice, it's comfortable. So, you know, all the other stuff is kind of subjective, uh, nitpicky shit. So, price, what's it gonna fucking set you back? Well, they're pretty fresh uh, out of the fucking press. I did a bit of Googling, there's a bunch of Russian sites that, uh, that do stock these. I don't, uh, you know, <laughs> can't make much of those sites though, not familiar with them, but they are available at 145 pounds. Not fucking bad for something, you know, made in Russia. You know, it's not your cheap Chinese stuff. 
uh, and it's definitely really well designed and made. So uh, yeah, 145 pounds, eh, it's not cheap, but it's not crazy expensive either for something that uh, is, uh, is very well fucking done. So that about wraps it up to you kids. Another solid tube out of Russia. Really impressed with what the Russians have been doing lately. And just in general, we're seeing a lot of fantastic mechanical tube mods out lately. Definitely making a real comeback and uh, it's awesome to see. So that about does me. I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down in the description if you want to check out what this fucking Muppet gets up to outside of the YouTube videos. If you want to support my channel, please do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. They're both fucking free. Make sure you turn on that little bell icon there so you do get notified when a video goes up. If you're not getting notifications, then maybe hit my Twitter account because everything I share on YouTube automatically gets shared to Twitter. But if you really want to keep me doing my fucking thing, then hit some of my support links. As I've said before, I run an independent channel and what that means is there is zero payment for doing these reviews. I don't accept sponsorships. There's no affiliate links here. There's no jumping the queue fees or any sneaky shit like that. I want to make sure you're getting a truly unbiased opinion on a product, but to keep doing that, well, a bit of public support is obviously how I get by. So hit my Patreon page. I do my special vlogs and bogs and content you won't see here on YouTube every week, as well as all my extra gear goes to my Patreons, and they keep me in a fucking gig. But if you can't do that, sit back, sub home your dicks off, or your tits off. I don't care whether your mod's made in Russia, Scandinavia, China, Australia, as long as you're not banging the bungers, that's all that matters. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh. How the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all doing grouse. It's Russia's been putting out a fair bit of the mechanical. Um, where were you fucking going with that, you muppet? Hope you're all doing tip top. Gonna have another look. Have another look. We're gonna have a look at another fucking hell. Evil angriness like a Russian Bond villain. Very fucking nice. <laughs> it is a uh, chocolate. Oh, fuck me, a chocolate. Don't even know my own juice. <laughs> A little subtle, fuck me, what am I talking about? Really nice uh, work out of Russia once again. So that about wraps it up, dear kids. So that about wraps this one's up. So that about wraps it up, dear kids. So that about wraps this fucker up. Definitely worth checking out. I'll uh, get the. <clears throat> so that about wraps it up, dear kids. Another fucking solid tube out of mech. Fuck me. <laughs> out of mech.